Hi there, I'm Mark, this is the Biz Lounge. So here we are in the first week of April and the FTSE 100 really kicking off the month pretty much flat. Earlier it was unchanged at 7,323. And as it's the start of the month, we usually get a lot of official data on the state of the economy released. And the latest from the purchasing managers around the UK shows that the pace of manufacturing fell slightly to 54.2 from 54. Point six. Now, high costs and weak wage growth have been named as the main reasons for the fallback in the index. Still, it's above 50, which means still growing. Now, my stock in focus today is microchip technology licensing company, Imagination Technologies. Now, this firm licenses its intellectual property to some of the world's biggest makers of smartphones, tablets, computers, and other electronic goods. Now, among those companies, Apple has been one of Imagination's biggest customers. But the company said today that the iPhone maker had given it notice that it plans to stop using its chips in about 15 months' time. Apple said it plans to develop its own chip technology from then on. But Imagination has been hitting back, saying that it really doubts that Apple will be able to find a way of developing new chips of its own without infringing Imagination's intellectual property rights. Well, we'll have to wait to see how that plays out. But about half of Imagination Technologies' revenues come from Apple at the moment. Now, it uses Imagination's graphics chips in its iPhones, its iPads, and iPod devices. Now, the shares fell dramatically today, down almost 70% to about 87 pence after that news. And Imagination really needs to act quickly now to show how investors can remain confident in the company when one Big customer tends to go, others tend to follow. Talk about eggs and baskets. Now finally, big boss time, and this is Sir Henry Angest. He's a Swiss-born multi-millionaire, most famous for donating large amounts of money to the Conservative Party. But he's also chairman of Arbuthnot, which is the city-based merchant bank. And last week, he bought more than £2 million worth of the company's shares. Now, that may sound like a lot, but he was just adding another 150,000 shares to the eight and a half million that he already owns. That's about, probably worth about 120 million now. And it does show quite a lot of confidence in the company. Always good when directors buy into their companies. I wonder what he knows that we don't. That's it, I'll see you tomorrow. Please share, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter.